Hi there, uh, Leanne from Sony Pilates. Here are a few exercises you may want to start working into your running warm ups and your daily conditioning in order to help support your running training and technique um, as you go out on the roads and the pathways. So I would always start with your feet. So come and stand with your feet in a parallel position. For example, you could slightly take the right foot back a little bit and we're going to play around with finding that energy and elastic recoil in the foot by warming up and utilizing the pad and the ball of the foot and the big toe and the second toe especially. So your weight is gently in the left leg and you're just bringing the right heel up. Now there's a sense of energy going down into the right foot, right big toe, and you want the heel tracking in directly behind you so you're not rolling out. And I would do a few of these and then start to come up through onto the tops of the toes and you can apply a little bit of pressure there and then over. So you're bringing your foot into this plantar flexion, yawning open through the fascia at the front of the foot. If this is too much, you could take the foot back behind you. So for example, less weight and pressure put on it, but just see how it feels and you're very welcome to take a little bites. Come back through onto the top of the toes, pad and ball of the foot, heel down. And again, coming up onto the toes and over, back onto the top of the toes, pad and the ball of the foot, heel down. Let's go one more time. Maybe a few heel kicks up here, coming up and over, and then through onto the front of the foot, the big toe especially, and just have a little bounce. Now you can repeat this a few more times and as you layer on top of it and do it every time, every day, um, the fascia will start to give, it'll become easier and easier to be able to hang out and we can add on some other footwork exercises. Come back through and just have a little pad out. Notice how that foot feels, take a little wriggle through the toes, stand down into the foot, notice the big toe finding pressure into the mat. And we'll briefly do the other side, but you can spend longer. So this video is just to kind of show and demo the exercises. Left heel now coming up, but you want to spend a little bit longer doing these. So once you become more comfortable with them, trialing them out on your body, definitely something you can easily do whilst you're prepping, getting your um, ear pods into your ears, finding your tunes. That's it, we come up and over onto the top of the toes, and then through and over onto the front of the foot, back onto the top of the toes, back into the pad and the ball of the foot, heel down. Heel comes up onto the toes, up and over. Little bounce if you want to, checking in. Onto the toes, pad and ball of the foot, heel down. Let's go one more time, just so we're sort of even in this demo run through onto the tops of the toes and you start to give that a bit of pressure now and then up and over again remember you could step it back coming through pad and ball of the foot heel down and having a little pad out here another really good exercise is to check in with heel raises so the body is going up as the toes press down into the floor the balls of the feet and lower, really nice for just warming up through the calves. We want your energy to go up as your feet go down, not forward, which obviously would take you out of balance. So standing down, feet in parallel, imagine, imagining the energy going down like roots and as it does, you go up. The heels then track in again, back in behind your calves and you're not sickling the ankles. So come back through. <laughs> onto the balls of your feet. A little bit tricky if you're on a softer surface, but just check where you are. And you could have a light fingertip touch on something as well. Nice. From there, have a little shake off, maybe add on anything else that you do for your feet and your ankles. And then we want to take a little look at your hip mobility. Um, so we come through our squat sequence that we did. Feet in parallel. <coughs> We soften and sink down into a full squat, letting the heels come up. Good. 
Nice, then from here we can send our feet down into the floor and our head up. So we could start with that. Then we can continue to add on, so we soften and sink, slide down. What would it feel like to send your feet back into the floor? And I know some of you come into this beautiful deep squat, no problem. Okay, if your hips want to come up, you could step a little bit wider and hang out here in a deeper squat. That's totally fine. Play around with that, then track them back in, noticing if you can start to get the heels down even more. Come back through. And then we start to send the knees forward. Hopefully at the same time, but they might have a little step step. Remember, we're working through a process. Keep the toes tucked. We're now working your dorsiflexion. So we keep the toes tucked and you can sit back into the heels a little bit. Notice how that feels. Good, and then come up, center and draw the belly button back, send the pubic bone through, cross the arms across the chest, and just take a gentle thigh stretch here. With the toes tucked, you'll get more of that spring than with the feet long. Good. Then we can sit ourselves back down. A real test here, and we'll see if I can do it, is to let those thigh bones plug back into the sockets of the pelvis, just a bite. Then send the heels back down, oh. come back through, feel free to send the heels back down, keep the feet down and stand all the way up, shaking off that squat sequence, but doing as many repetitions of that as you want to. And then adding on to it, so we're going to continue to come into that. So for example, if I do it facing you now and you can join me. <clears throat> We come down through in a full squat. Heels might come up. We're trying to leave them down as much as possible. Send the heels back. You can reach the arms forward. That's often really comfortable. You can go a little bit wider if you wanted to, to get those heels down. Step it back in. Remember, you're working gradually. Come back through. Heels are up. Send the knees forward. Coming into this lovely high kneeling position. Take your thigh stretch. So your chin can slightly tuck, draw the belly button back, send the pubic bone through, stay one lovely long line, ribs and pelvis. Come back up. We're gonna untuck the toes. Shake out through the arms and sit ourselves back down. We're gonna come up into a high kneeling. Nice, and we're then gonna bring the legs together and we're gonna send our right hip off the feet towards the floor for a little sit. Send our knees down, our pelvis forward to come up, and then send our left hip. Now you've got this lovely yawn going on through your TFL. You might feel that one side's often easier than the other. So you could keep repeating these hip dips. Good. And through. And then on the next one, you can send the right hip off and sit, let the legs split. You'll come into your Z sit, have a little roll and through, left hip, rotation. Good, and then we can sweep the legs around, no hands hopefully, and change your Z sit. And again, switch, and change your Z sit. Working through your hip mobility, and we need to go one more repetition to then start to work through the right hip and allow that thoracic. We did this in the workshop. Just having a little yawn through. Good. So we've worked through the feet. We're starting to work through our hips, the knees, the joints of the lower body. Then quite nice to come into that six point kneeling position. Hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, tucking the toes. So this is our six point. Maybe taking a little cat cow, a little wriggle. Really wide splayed hands, full octave on the piano. And we're starting to weight bear here, widen through the collarbone. So as we find your neutral spine, keep the sitting bones open, normal natural curves in your lower back, normal curve in your upper back. So keep your lordosis and then keep your Kyphosis, what my hand's doing as it's told. And gaze comes over your fingertips. 
From the six point kneeling position, you can play around with the split knee exercise we did, where you send one knee back and one forward, and just take a sway back and forth. The body wants to stay neutral, it looks as if, and it feels as if it's moving backwards and forwards, but because of our split knee position, we've actually taken the pelvis in a little bit of a position that we come into when we walk, less when we run because of the speed, and the strategy we use when we run, but we're just sinking into hip and shoulder, you'll feel a diagonal pull. You can check in with the other side, knee comes forward, knee goes back, how that feels. And then anything else that you enjoy doing in a six point kneeling position, maybe thread the needle work. Can be really nice here. Any little wriggles, maybe you like to do a little pad off through a downward dog. But what we have now is the opportunity to send the sitting bones slightly back over the heels and walk the hands forward, keeping your spine long. Then sending your energy forward so you're over your wrists, shoulders over your wrists, and just yawning open through the back of the knees to come into full plank. Playing around with that 180 beats per minute cadence, keep width through the collarbones, start to take the feet for their 180 whilst keeping the rest of the body quite quiet. Da, 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 da. Soften. You can do a few repetitions of this. I'm just demoing. Come forward again. Take the feet slightly wider. Open up through the front of the hips. Hug the bottom ribs back. And then start to go alternate hand to shoulder. 180 beats per minute as well. Keeping the body lovely and long. Trying to reduce the sway as much as possible. Tricky to do whilst talking. But remember, we're trying to build this reactionary effect neurologically as well through the body. So we've done our feet, our hips. We're starting to build that cadence. We can then come all the way back up, tuck our toes, draw the thigh bones back into the sockets, send the heels down into the floor, getting easier and easier. Uncurl, unroll, unravel all the way up. And then maybe start those lunging pathways towards the park, towards the road, towards your running body. 90-90 lunges are really nice for us to take in that sense of keeping the pelvis neutral, your thoracic up. So you can take these as you're walking down the street. You can also do a few of them on the spot. Good. And you can start to add rotation, excuse me. So, as we drop down into 90-90, belly button back, pubic bone through, lovely yawn going on through this thigh. We're loading through the front of that foot. We're getting that spring action here in the back of this foot. We can then start to take a little bit of rotation over the bent front knee. So you get that lovely rotation torque. You could also reach the arms up without a back bend. So you're helping the body stay in thoracic extension through each lunge as well. Soften down, turn and rotate, come back through, sweep the arms up and then bring yourself back. Doesn't matter if you use your arms to help you get there. Just check in how the body feels, the hips feel. And then always really interesting to Think about the hamstring training and sort of nervous system training we were doing where we're looking at getting the heel to the sitting bone in a nice quick action without the leg going forward or sweeping back behind us it's just in underneath us so you could do a few of these as well checking in maybe get your metronome going because you're working through single leg stability as well Always very welcome to stand down, find that flexion in one hip, the opening in the other. And even after doing just those few exercises in a quick demo to you guys, the stability here is already better, especially for the leg I'm currently on. Usually has me hopping around the place like Zebedee from the Magic Roundabout. <laughs> Chest is open, deep flexion here, 
stand into the full of the foot as it goes down you grow taller and have a little shake off now i would recommend repeating that maybe just doing this demo once in this quicker fashion with me and then heading out in your run and the more you become familiar with the exercises and you don't need this video or the notes i'm going to send then you start to infiltrate them into your training and your warm-ups as you go if you've got any questions get in touch and let me know how your running's going.